This is how to overlap letters inside Adobe Illustrator. So to overlap text, the first thing we need is, well, text. So grab the type tool, draw a text box and type in the word you want to modify. The word can be anything, but for this example, I'm going to write hello. Now make the size a little bit bigger. And I recommend using a bold font as that is easier to work with. So go to the fonts and choose a font that you like. When you have found a font that you like, go to the selection tool, right click the text box and click create outlines. Now you can scale the text a little bit so it's easier to see what we are doing. Then we want to right click the text and click ungroup. This means that all the letters are now separate and we can now arrange them however we like. But first we need to select all the letters, go to the stroke and add a white stroke. Then go to the stroke weight and make the stroke wider. I think something like this will work fine. You can always adjust the stroke size while arranging the letters. In the end we will punch out the strokes while leaving only a hole left. We are only using the strokes to simulate the holes that we are going to punch out later. So now we can start arranging the letters as we like by grabbing the letters and making them overlap other letters. I think this overlap looks fine, but I want the strokes to be a little bit smaller. So simply select all the letters and reduce the stroke a little bit. Something like this looks better. And to make everything look a little bit more playful, we can rotate the letters a little bit. I think this looks cool, but this L is maybe a little bit too much cut off. So let's move this a little bit. And by the way, if you want the H to overlap the E instead, you simply click the H, right click it and click Arrange to Front. Now the H is on top of the E, but for this example, I think the other way looks better. So when we're happy with how the text is arranged, we now need to remove the strokes to leave holes in the letters. To do this, zoom in to the letters, go to the Selection tool, select all the letters, then go to Object, go to Expand, Make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. Then choose the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key on your keyboard to get this minus sign next to the cursor, we want to subtract all these white strokes. When all the white strokes are removed, go to the selection tool, make sure all the letters are still selected Go to the Pathfinder panel right here. If it isn't open, you can go to Window and find the Pathfinder panel right here. Now go to this button right here that says Unite. And that will clean up the shapes so we don't have all these spare shapes. Then right click the text and click Ungroup. So now we can select and color the letters. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.